uh, professor Ronan, can you hear me? It's an audio test thing. Can you hear me? Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Unji, can you hear me? I can hear you perfectly well, sir. कैसे हैं आप? बस बस एकदम बढ़िया. थोड़ा यहाँ शुरू करने ही जा रहा था और उतने में ही ये net fluctuation आया. जेएनयू. तो इसलिए मैंने सोचा कि मैं बता दूँ कि एक पांच मिनट शायद आगे पीछे हो सकता है. So I am into some other another room. आप शायद प्रवास पे है ना हाँ 
कल भी काफी अच्छा गया हाँ मैंने बाद में वीडियो मैंने देखा सुना भी सही अच्छा रहा जी, वो जी, एक अपना वो भी क्लिनिक को भी अच्छा रिस्पांस आ रहा है अच्छा वो क्या कर रहे हैं वो समझ में नहीं आया क्या आईपी क्लिनिक उसने क्या किया उसने मैंने क्या किया जो अपने क्वेश्चंस होते हैं ना लोगों के अब आंसर तो अपन भी कर सकते हैं हम लोग कर सकते थे बट हाँ. मैंने कहा बेटर है लेट्स यू नो इन्वॉल्व पेटेंट ऑफिस तो उनके... चार्ज लगा देता हूँ जी क्या है वो बीच में कहीं पावर फ्लक्चुएशन वगैरह में इट इज बेटर टू राइट सर, okay. yes, sir, you're audible, sir. Okay, so, Alan, we, we are are not live, live, live. sir, actually. We are live. Okay. Okay. We are live. We are live. So what we are doing now, inviting or we have collaborated with patent office, and we have invited questionnaire from all HEI holders, faculty members, and. <laughs> Then these are being answered by patent exam controller. Controller, real feature inside. So that is the as I claim. It's like a doctor-patient kind of scenario that patient is being asked and doctor is providing doctor providing consultation. Ah, uh, shall we? Yes, sir. We will start the session. Yes. Uh, good morning, and welcome you all on behalf of Ministry of Education, Innovation, Cell, and uh, AICT for the day five of National IP Literacy Week, being organized as a part of Kapila Kalam Program for IP Literacy and Awareness. The objective of Kapila is to create a culture of systematically protecting new ideas, research, and innovation, having national and global relevance. also to recognize facilitate uh, the intellectual properties innovation and best practice of hels on the day 4 yesterday uh, as a part of our ip week we had professor gangudi sir ceo vision ipr and he was been addressing on seeding ideas to harvest innovation for social good roles of intellectual property rights we had more than 5000 uh, faculty students across the country participating in the in the yesterday's program so today we have mr unnat pandit sir and dr mohit gambhir uh, being part of the moderator of our ip clinic program before i start this session i request uh, dr mohit uh, gambhir sir to address our participant then we will uh, go with our flow of our program yes sir thank you so much uh, i would like to extend my heartful greetings to sir ji and for accepting our request to share his thoughts the views with all of you all the audience our uh, friends those formal introduction will be done by my fellow colleague dr longevan about the context and uh, i would only like to say the man behind the vision the person who was leading atal innovation missions you know one of the vertical as a program director he led it for multiple years and then to spread the light he moved to and taken the role as a dean 
of Atal Bihari Vajpayee School of Management and Entrepreneurship at Jawaharlal Nehru University. I am sure the knowledge, the insights which Professor Unnat Pandit is going to share with you, it will be of immense help rather for all of us to shape up our thought process, to link up innovation and IPR because he comes from the background where I believe in India seldom few people are there. Uh, Dr. Longevan, uh, I would request yes. you to please formally introduce uh, Professor Unnat Pandit. Yes. Sir. And uh, Professor Unnat Pandit once again, welcome from uh, Innovation Cell Ministry of Education. And we are eagerly waiting to hear your uh, views, sir. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, thank you, uh, Mogit, sir. Uh, as a formal uh, note, uh, I formally welcome our uh, expert speaker of the day, Dr. Uh, Unnat Pandit, sir. Uh, brief about him for the benefit of participants to whom they are listening today. As uh, Mogit sir said, he's one of a stalwart and been part of a uh, you know, uh, Atal Innovation Mission. Brief about uh, Professor Unnat Pandit, currently serving as a Professor of IP Innovation and Entrepreneurship and Dean of Atal Bigari Watchway School of Management and Entrepreneurship at Jagannath Nehru University, New Delhi. Former Program Director of Atal Innovation Mission, Niti Ayo, and also served as a member of IP think tank to draft national IPR policy. And he was on, this, uh, on special duty to Ministry of Commerce and Industry. A visionary professional carrying 20 years of experience in dealing with uh, techno commercial activities, protecting IP, innovation, incubation, entrepreneurship, and management. So served in various field of development, starting from research, academic, uh, um, and pharmaceutical linked uh, to IP innovation skill and entrepreneurship. Recently, Professor Unnat Pandit had moved from his bureaucrat role at Niti Ayog to academic career. So, Professor Unnat Pandit professionally engaged with various startup institutions in advising, consulting on development and deployment of various innovation technologies, IPR, innovation incubation management, business strategy, startup mentoring, technology licensing, and IP vigilance. Commercialization and corporate social responsibility linked to community initiative and social needs. With the brief note, I request Professor Unnat Pandit to address our faculty and students across the country on building IP innovation ecosystem in academic institution. So this uh, is a very important topic which you have choose. I'm very sure the faculties and students who have been joined for this uh, session across the country will be benefited out of your, your speech, sir. So now I request uh, Professor Nath Pandit, sir, to handle this session. Yeah, uh, I hope the uh, slides are visible. Yes, yes sir. yes, sir, it's visible, sir. Okay. And my voice is also reaching to you. Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you very much for the uh, introduction and I must appreciate the wonderful initiative which has been linked to Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam whose vision was to build the academic institution uh, fully equipped with the IP innovation creation and they are fully aware about what is the upcoming need for the society. And with this uh, objective, I, I appreciate the MHRD Innovation Cell, AICT, and uh, the Institutional Innovation Council under Ministry of Education for such a wonderful initiative. And this is linked to the birth anniversary of uh, Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam that makes it more appealing to all of us why we should be committed towards building the IP innovation ecosystem. And today I have chosen a topic to share my views on building IP innovation in academic institution. Yeah, so this uh, name also, that's a Kapila IP Literacy Week. So this is something which is important for all of us when we are going to have a discussion on the IP innovation, we must understand what is the fundamentals of it. And then uh, my talk today is going to highlight this four aspect of building the IP innovation ecosystem in academic institution. 
why academic institution need to build the ip innovation ecosystem and how we can nurture the student startups what is the ip innovation ecosystem per se because what we want to achieve we also need to have a understanding about it innovation is for the community and societal services anything which is not meant for serving the country serving the community serving the society may not have a long term sustainability and that that's why also uh, whenever dr kalam used to meet the uh, students and the uh, academicians he was always emphasizing on nurturing the startups nurturing the student towards creating something new grooming their thought process to think out of box and for doing it so how to take up the initial initiatives in our academic institution so that gradually with the crawling of a baby step we can build the entire ecosystem in our academic institution and when to start this initiative of course we all have a commitment to build the ecosystem but how to take the initiative and what is the appropriate time to build this ecosystem in our academic institution so with this uh, before i begin i would like to again bring it uh, to the notice of all of you that this entire initiative i am trying to give